Hello, this is Sebastian Moya Paso from Tuxa, Arizona, United States, and you're in Challenge You Love That Life and Healing. And this time we are going to talk about secondary enrichment. And this is a question from one of the subscribers. Thank you very much for the question. I'll put in this video for you. Okay. And it says, it's possible, um, exolution, um, uh, the position of a burnite and a calcocyte and in which conditions. So second, it says, uh, um, if calcopyrite is a solid solution, example like burnite, diginite, and which conditions we call replacement or exolution, okay? And, uh, um, and one more, it says, uh, how I can analyze the pseudomorphism in, 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 in these cases, okay? so. In order to understand the uh, secondary enrichment, we have to understand two, two things in the immunization of a perfect copper system, primary immunization and secondary enrichment. So the primary immunization in Arizona in the United States, it's in the Latimer age between 65 and 80 million years. So 80 million years ago. So, and uh, the secondary uh, uh, enrichment it happened maybe in the last five or 10 million years ago. So how did it happen? So the, the primary position it was between three and seven kilometers from the surface. And because uh, the porphyry system has a parallel shell, so once they're closer to, to the surface, the water, uh, meteoric water is gonna uh, leach out the, uh, the parite and parite is starting to generate um, sulfuric acid. And sulfuric acid will remove mobilize copper as a copper uh, sulfate. And so every time the copper sulfate finds a molecule of uh, um, uh, iron sulfate, which is pyrite, so you kick it out the uh, iron and replace with copper. If it finds ca uh, calcopyrite, it kick it out the iron and it left the copper that's already there, you have two molecules of uh, copper. So that's what we call enrichment. So what's enrichment? It's enrichment iron by copper. So replacing copper. And so and if you have everything pyrite, now you have mm, calcocyte with this copper sulfide. And if you have uh, calcopyrite, you have two molecules of copper. So if you have 1% of primary immunization, which is calcopyrite, you will have 0.35% uh, of total copper. So, and if you have 1%, if 1% of calcocyte, you will have 68% of uh, total copper. So it's making the enrichment basically uh, double the percentage of uh, copper content in the, in the rocks. That's what we call uh, enrichment. And um, so uh, according to uh, cytomorphism, because there are two processes different, right? So one is uh, um, the primary immunization and, uh, and secondary uh, uh, enrichment happened maybe in the last uh, five million years ago. So it's uh, two different events in two different time. And so uh, the pseudomorphism is uh, you find a pyrite, cubic pyrite, you break the calcocyte in the center, you'll find pyrite, right? If you have uh, um, pseudomorphism from uh, from calcopyrite, you find the uh, calcopyrite crystals, now it's calcocyte, you break it in the center will be uh, calcopyrite. In some places, but some places not. Or you, you have the sooty calcocyte, you don't see which one it was, or the massive calcocyte, you know, everything is massive now. Okay, I hope you enjoy it now. So let's, let's see the video, the, the video and enjoy it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In the purpose of the understanding of a perfect copper system, we have to understand in the perfect copper deposit, we have two main type of process, primary process and, and secondary enrichment process. In the primary process, we, we have primary mineral, copper mineralization, in this case, uh, calco, calcopyrite, pyrite, yeah, primary. In, in Arizona, it's a, a 67 to 75 uh, million years ago. That's the uh, the age of the mineralization. And the next one we have, we can see it in here, it's Bornite. The blue, uh, uh, blue shiny in there, everything is Bornite, everything is primary. Uh, some calcopara in there. 
and the sec the third more important uh, mineral and the perfect copper system pyrite everything is a one or two two percent uh, uh, of uh, pyrite if we move it we have more uh calcopyrite and our uh, calcopyrite uh, uh, molybdenite right and another example this is a calcopyrite primary mineralization of copper right and uh, i have one more sample and the next one in the primary mineralization it's molybdenite all this is molybdenite this is the the quartz vein potassium alteration okay feldspar replacement and um another one we have uh, this uh okay feldspar uh and in the center we have this uh calcopyrite and all this is magnetite primary and it's primary mineralization too and so in order to understand the whole process of the uh, secondary enrichment we are going to go on this side and we are going to start and uh, with this sample so in this sample we're going to see this is the leach cup in the leach cup we have the structures uh, uh, all the black and red it's a hematite after calcosite as we can see we don't have any more um, sulfites no calcopyrite no pyrite ar already has been leached out that's why we call leach cup underneath that cap from the surface that's the surface and th we are going to have this section of um uh um copper oxide that we call and this is uh, azurite um, carbonate uh, copper carbonate and again everything is in the fractures as you can see it. and uh, this is in the fractures too in the fractures and there's no more pyrite there's no copyrite in there everything, everything has been leached out and the next one we have a mixed zone we have a, some uh, some copyrite some iron oxide and um, that's the mix on between, uh, yeah, that, that's, uh, uh, I see that, and iron oxides in there, and uh, that's the evidence of uh, calcopyrite too. And then underneath, we have this uh, enrichment, at the beginning of the enrichment, all the black stuff and everything uh, we can see is going to be calcocyte. And as you can see, pyrite has been replaced maybe um, 25%. Everything else is a pyrite, but the other one, 25% is calcocyte. And then when you started the enrichment, so you can see more calcocyte over, over uh, calcopyrite and, and bornite in there, and more enrichment. So you will see all this uh, um, calcocyte over the pyrite, right? And that's how you, you are going to see it. And then we have another sample like this, all the black stuff, calcoside, and uh, maybe some cobalite, some diginite, uh, but again, this is going to be a 25, 30% of replacement. And, uh, and then we are going to get it into the main zone. This is the sudi calcoside, two types of calcoside. This is soft. And uh, as you can see, pH is probably two, three, everything in there has been leached out. And all the, all, all the pyrite that already has been replaced. As we can see in the, in the sample, you know, everything is calcocyte. In, in here, it's uh, like 25% only. Everything is a uh, uh, calcocyte, but the rest is uh, calcopyrite and pyrite and here everything is calcocyte so the calcocyte you know, we have one more sample of sudi calcocyte black uh, with the acrylic and sometimes uh, like this is soft you know because everything has been the child the second uh, variety of calcocyte the massive calcocyte and uh, uh, this is replacing one is a hundred percent replace everything calcocyte you will be a um, massive calcocyte and uh, another example the same thing you have the calcocyte in here but was uh, um uh, calcopyrite and they're replacing everything Ma massive uh, calcocyte massive calcocyte and sudi calcocyte and then we are going deeper practically and we are going to find these areas like this where we can find it and see it that this originally it was um uh, 
providing a calcocide in the crystals and let me show with this and something we can scratch this like that and the need that one we are gonna find uh, calcopyrite if we can see we can clean it up underneath calcopyrite so it's a, like plated over calcopyrite and then we have another another example is in the veins like 50 percent replacement calcocyte cobalite and it's going to be mixed with um, calcopyrite in the veinlets and then finally one more time again we are see the same samples that we started with the primary initiation, right? Uh, um, Cacopyrite, molybdenite, pyrite, bornite, right? That's what we saw in uh, Cacopyrite. One more time, we are going to see the, the sequence of uh, the front surface again. So, this is uh, what we are going to call leach cap, right? Leach cap, uh, copper oxide zone. Mix on with the calcocyte, the standing calcocyte on all the calcocyte blankets, the enrichment over here, and the mix on with the primary mix on with the primary, the same one. And finally, we are going to get this primary calcopyrite, you know, and uh, yeah, that's how is the perfect copper system developed. And uh, thank you very much. I hope you like it, you enjoy it. Thank you, thank you, thank you.